Where'd they go, man? Where did they go? Oh, yeah, there you go. My notes, my notes. Give me my notes. Give me my notes. <sighs> That's right, boys. <clears throat> we are tackling the Hellcat in the room today. Little this, little that. Whole lot of research, whole lot of freaking reading and writing, boys. It is class time. Get some of this paperwork out of the way, boys. Sorry about my mess. I got stuff everywhere, man. I have been researching the last two, three days, more or less. What is up, boys? Welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> Not 100%, but trying to get some stuff done in here today and biggest one is wiring you guys biggest one is wiring first and foremost i want to give a big special shout out to sound german automotive sound german automotive boys they are located in like i want to say that washington seattle area and these guys know what they're doing when it comes to electronics especially electronic transmissions so we ordered we ordered their tranny kit um their tranny kit let me see let me untape it here for you this is me my attempt mocking stuff up trying to figure out how i'm gonna route everything let me sorry guys i am not prepared today down to it i'm gonna show you guys how, how this wiring is really gonna work with this hemi hellcat um engine management system slash harness and then as well in cohesive with uh, Sound German Engineering or Sound German Automotive, I'm sorry, with their harness. Now this is their harness. I've already kind of altered it a little bit. Not really altered. I didn't want to do too much because I wanted you guys to see it the way it comes, the way you guys are going to get it at home. So long story short, you're going to get the kit. This is for an 8HP90, by the way, and you're going to get a lot of uh connections that are not going to be used whatsoever and that was the biggest confusion i had so and then you're also going to get this um ecu here as well for the transmission itself this is actually what's going to be talking to the transmission this is the computer for the transmission right got your standard plug there and then you're going to have a few little fuse boxes here with a couple leads now you're going to have a positive a negative which is the ground and then a positive switch which is like an ignition hot you want ignition hot power and ground that's it right simple connect those up now I'm only gonna talk about the ones we need the ones we're actually gonna use uh, obviously OBD2 port you're gonna need that you're gonna mount that wherever you want in your dash now second one is this little uh, can bus purple connector this guy here you're going to use that that's actually what's going to talk to the other side of your harness which is this guy here boys so on the factory hellcat crate um standalone kit you're going to plug that right in here it doesn't matter which one you pick now this little third one here off of that guy you're not going to use that okay remember that this guy here is uh purple and orange you're not going to use that one Right, so we got that one out the way. That's what's gonna talk to the computer, let it know what's going on with the tranny. Now, on the tranny side, you got one connector. That's it, boom, this guy here. Okay, next. This guy here is for your shifter. Now, you gotta have to run the stock, like 2016-17 um, charger shifter. That's the only way it'll work. You're going to have to use the stock shifter. So you're going to have to locate a stock shifter if you guys don't have one. So this will work with this tranny. We got one. That'll work connected to the shifter. That's it. Now, this guy here. This guy you can keep around. Um, this is just a laptop. Laptop like calibration tool just to kind of get into it and mess with the settings and stuff like that. You can keep that. I'm usually going to probably route that in that same area for the OBD2 port. Okay, now these guys here, you guys can see though, I've already taped up a lot of unnecessary wires that we're not going to use. You can tell. Now, you're only going to use four wires, boys. Four wires. That's it. Don't let the rest confuse you guys. It was confusing me too. That's why the good folks over there at Sound, in, uh, Sound German helped us out. And neutral safety switch, right? You got that one. Reverse lamp. And then parking lamp input 
or I'm sorry, brake lamp input, and then the speed output. Okay. All right, let's see here. So the park neutral safety switch wire here, you're actually going to run to your factory harness, obviously from the Hemi Hellcrate engine kit. You're going to run it to this guy here. I can move this out the way. It's going to be a green, green and orange wire, green, orange wire. That'll be for your clutch slash park neutral safety switch. You hook those two up hook those two up and that's your parking lamp input so wherever your uh, brake switch is at that's what you're running it to wherever that brake switch is at that's all you're gonna run it to is a brake switch that's uh, inputting I should say outputting positive voltage as long as it's po outputting positive voltage when your brake lights come on that's all it is that's it boys that's all it is now there's gonna be a bunch of other wires and connectors that I've already Look, I've already kind of taped up out of the way, so that way it's not confusing. Now, as far as the harness on here goes, because we're using the Sound German harness, we don't have to use this chingadera right here, boys. This chingadera is really just like a Mopar's version of a, I don't know what you call it, like a GPS system. You don't have to use this CAN bus module whatever you want to call it you don't have to use this guy here this is really all it's doing is telling you how fast you're going to the ECU to the ECU but because of this guy here this guy will do the same thing once you wire that up so you're not going to need that anymore so don't worry about that now you'll have the harness where those plug into and you can see I already taped away the three wires that we're not going to use on that particular one because that's where that CAN bus module hooked up to. Now, this, these two are a positive and a negative that you can use for whatever reason. That's why I left these out. You can use this for power and ground for something else. Definitely can use that there. And then on this side here, as far as uh, on the other, the other pigtail off the body harness here, you're gonna have obviously your part, that one's park neutral safety switch. This is ignition, find the ignition source, ignition. And this is gonna be an auxiliary. The red one is an auxiliary uh, power. If you guys wanna add power to something else as well, this is always constant power. And then this blue, light blue with the tan, that's gonna be for your starter. Your Whatever that starter wire you got coming in, you hook up to that guy and that'll actually start the car. So that's a starter relay wire. And obviously you got a couple grounds up here, boys, that are coming off this harness. Make sure you guys ground everything properly. But, well, boys, I think that's all I'm going to talk about. I'm trying to keep it short and sweet with the wiring, you guys. Hopefully this information helps you guys out. We get a long way to go to finish wiring this thing up. Um, I might talk about a little bit about the cooling fan. I found some information out about that to run the stock Hellcat. Uh, fan which is controlled by pulse with modulation so i might try to do a video on that i don't know yet um also the fuel pump um, relay harness from mopar we need to see if we're going to run that or not it actually has to do with the fuel pump you selected so keep that in mind so you guys got to hit the subscribe button hit the like button and hit the bell for notifications and you guys already know stay rich